Instagram is one of the most valuable places you can be in 2023. Instagram can give you fame. It can give you business growth. It can literally change your life in these times. Would you like to know the exact things you should be doing if you are starting an Instagram account? Then listen and watch this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nimi Crystal Amakri and I'm a content creator and influencer based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So my page is dedicated to social media growth, medicine and lifestyle. Today we'll be talking about what you should do if you are starting an Instagram account today. So guys, with my experience on Instagram, I handle some Instagram pages. I'm an influencer on my page. I create content for businesses and I have a creator page on Instagram that a lot of creators love because they learn a lot. These are the things that I would suggest you do if you are starting your Instagram account. Number one, and the most important thing while starting, Focus on your bio, guys. Your bio, what's that? Now, the first thing you see when you open somebody's page is their bio. So your bio consists of your profile picture. It consists of your name. And it consists of, you know, there's a bio segment that they say write stuff about you. Everything you write there is the first impression you're giving people online that is your bio your bio is super duper important that's the first thing they see that's how they judge you that's how they know to follow you or unfollow you so guys it is so important we're talking about the things you should do with your bio first things first you have to have a clear picture if you are a person a personality on instagram you should have your picture on instagram that's that's just it it should be a clear picture your face should be visible on Instagram. You can't back the camera on Instagram. You can't make your profile picture your shoes, except you are a shoe company or a shoe brand because people want to have a face attached to whatever account that they can trust. People stay around accounts that they have linked to a face. They want to know that there's somebody behind that particular account. So it's very important for you to have a clear picture as your profile picture second of all your name so guys i know that names are unique and everybody should have different names you know to identify yourself and to sell whatever thing of value is important to you but apart from names being unique guys on instagram your name is also searchable searchable guys so it means that that particular place they give you under your profile picture where you write something. Sometimes we write our name like Nimi the hot chick or stuff like that. Oh my God, that was so bad. <laughs> that place is highly searchable. It means that if somebody comes to their search page and types Titilayo the brand or something, and that is what you have there, you're going to come out just because they typed Titilayo the brand. If somebody types 090287 and that's what you write there, you're going to show up. So guys, what does that mean? That does not mean you should write your name there, Amaka the brand, no. No, 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 except you're like a big name like Rihanna or Beyonce and so you're highly searchable. It means that whatever thing that you are providing for people on Instagram should be there. Now, I'm not saying that you should totally throw away your name and put that thing. Let's say content creator, for example. No. So you should put city slash content creator in Lagos. Do you get something like that? So you still have a bit of individuality in that name and you have the service that you offer. So if you're a business, you should not go there and put light sauce or i don't know you should not go there and put purple feet because you are a shoe company maybe you sell shoes and you know your shop is purple feet and then you decide to put purple feet there 
and you think people are going to type purple feet because they are searching for shoes except they know you from somewhere so you can write purple feet and then you write shoes in Port Harcourt do you get so you must make it make yourself visible right so that particular place and I don't mean the name on top the name on top is also searchable but that particular place that's under your profile picture is so important for you as a creator as a business owner or as a person on instagram that wants to be found that wants people to follow them do you get it should be something that you add for somebody if you're all about the minimalist lifestyle then you can put your name tonye and write minimalist lover do you get so people that are looking for that thing that you offer just have to type it in on instagram and they see it and you know the difference unlike every other person that probably is a content creator and has not written content creator at that particular point where their name is and maybe they are writing it in their bio or something maybe they are writing it somewhere else in their bio people are going to search for content creators and see other people and not see you so i don't care whether your friend or your enemy has already written content creator on that particular place you amaka say amaka hyphen content creator in Port Harcourt. there are plenty of content creators because it boosts you on the search engine do you get the next thing that we should talk about is what you should literally put in your bio so apart from that highlight the bolded part which is your name the next part you're giving about four to five lines to say something about you so in, on instagram they'll say okay your bio fill it up so four to five lines is what is acceptable is what is best for instagram the first line what should it contain guys it should contain who you are who you are okay so depending if you're a business you can actually inter switch this right and for a business who you are is actually what to do because that is your business account right so you can say bag seller or amazing bag seller or best bread in lagos do you understand so that is who you are you can say healthy juices or i sell healthy juices that is who you are for a business it's also what you do the next thing you should think about after who you are and what you do is to also put who are the people that you cater to who is your target audience right guys don't think that this thing is so hard it is so important and the difference is so much like somebody sees your account and it's just scattered and they're writing lover of life i'm painting um on my journey on earth yeah nobody wants to follow you except you're like a big name that people want to watch your journey on earth we have how many billion people on earth nobody wants to follow you just because they want to watch your journey on earth do you get me so if you are if your bio is more arranged and you're telling people this is who i'm here for those people once they come immediately they find who they are looking for they may not know they've been looking for you but something in your bio calls out to them do you get let's say they love minimalism and then they open your page and what's there is home decor guru i love white and pastels or something and they're like oh my god this person is my person do you get and they put somewhere there um um creating creating worthwhile content for the um creating worthwhile content for the workaholic woman do you get now they're giving themselves a target audience right or they say providing hacks for the mother to be or providing hacks for newlyweds or providing hacks for university students guy imagine that you have already pointed at somebody on your bio anybody that is a university student and that opens that thing and maybe sees um um i love minimalism um minimalist hostel room and you write providing hacks for the university student and let's say they have recently been interested in how to arrange their hostels so that it looks nice so that it's not everything is not so full and clashing they are going to follow you they are going to follow you in fact even somebody that has not 
so when you when you write a target audience like that even somebody that has not gotten to that level but aspires to get to that level is going to follow you so don't think that it literally shuts your doors no it doesn't it defines you and when you're defined like that ah you're attractive because people know that this person knows what they're looking for do you get okay so apart from that you've said who you are you've said what you do you've said who you provide value to that's your target audience Another thing you want to give them is why should they follow you? So remember, we talked about your profile picture. We talked about your highly searchable name. We talked about who you are. We talked about what you do. We talked about who you provide value for, who you create value for. And the fourth thing in that uh, particular point of your bio is why should they follow you? Do you get so you can say making your multitasking life easier. That's if maybe your concern is productivity. If you like productivity hacks, you can say if you're a comedian, making your day lighter. Like why should this person viewing your page now want to follow you? Right? So on my page is stay here to grow. So if you're somebody that cares about your self-development, your career development, that's the kind of thing i know people should i want people to follow me for because that's the kind of thing i'm interested in so if you want to grow on social media then follow me so that's the last line that should be on your bio why they should follow you and then and then guys 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 don't forget this you have an opportunity to put in a link on your bio now when an app when a social media platform gives you an opportunity you don't say no so wherever you are just remember this if you're watching this video whatever thing you're doing wherever you go to and you see people tell you okay fill this up fill this up don't give any mark to anybody don't leave any part for mark zuckerberg no take advantage of everything they are giving you put something there to help yourself so now you're giving you've been given a chance to add a link guys add a link if you have a youtube channel add a youtube channel so now it's not enough to just add any link right the line before that link should give them it's it's called a call to action so you don't want people to just look at your bio and go away do you get so you can say follow for entertaining content you can say follow for productivity hack that should be the last line like why they should follow you but to further buttress that you then give them a link if you've done a video on um um productivity for 2023 you say watch my productivity video and you put a sign like an arrow that is pointing downwards and downwards below is your link do you get so it pushes them further so yes they like your bio but it's not enough they've gone to watch something you've done and guess what you have you have literally been written in their minds do you get me apart from that you can add your youtube channel you say living living a rich um experiencing the yoruba culture and you put um let's say you put watch my youtube or subscribe to my youtube or enjoy my youtube videos here and you put the arrow sign guys and they tap that link and they see a lot of videos literally showing them what you promised and they're already interested in the bio they are going to stay with you forever do you get so that link is your opportunity if you have any free materials if you have an ebook if you have a cause you put that in your bio and you call and you give them a call to action say assess my free course on productivity here assess my free course on video editing here now they have already come they've seen you your bio says you're a video editor your target is to teach people video your, your target is young people that want to learn video editing and then the last point is access my free video editing course here or my free video editing basic course here and they're like wow this person is just amazing or sign up to my class my video editing class here so your bio gives you an opportunity to really go far to catch people do you get in a good way of course so guys that brings us to the end of the bio 
right so i don't want to because i know this is going to be a lot of information a lot of useful information i hope i don't want to make it too much for you so in our next video which i'm recording now so just search for it we'll be talking about the next thing you need to do if you're starting an instagram account after optimizing your bio if you have any questions please write it down below yes on social media if you have any requests something you want to learn about instagram about youtube growth please write it down below like just literally let me know okay guys bye